Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I want to tell you about our experience going to the Tour de France stage six finish and watching that finish and then the next day going out and actually riding that, that final climb of the, of the uh, stage six. Getting down was a huge pain in the butt because like, you know, 190 million people wanted to get off of the mountain all at the same time and they all had to take buses. So we actually waited in the bus line for like two hours before we could finally get on a bus. Anyway, we finally did get down and, and drove another like 45 minutes to our Airbnb, which we would spend the next couple nights at so I could get the chance, the opportunity to uh, ride up this last climb. But of course, like, the GPS took me through some weird places. I don't even know where we, I don't even know where we were at. Just like driving on these tiny mountain roads that were looking really spooky. Yeah, there was even a sign that said like you shouldn't go this way or something, but we just ignored that because I didn't know any other way to go. Uh, eventually, we got to our Airbnb, and as you can see here, this is just a typical Airbnb experience, especially when you check in late. Like there's some instructions, but they're never really perfectly clear. You have to like check all these different doors, like look for keys and punch in numbers. Never really sure how to get into the room, but after like a, a little while, 15 minute uh, ordeal, eventually you end up getting into your room as we did here, no problem. What else is there to say? So yeah, we got back to our Airbnb, we got checked in, and the next morning I went ahead and took the car and got close to the bottom of that climb. Here I am in France again, but now it's the day after stage six of the Tour de France. I'm at the bottom of the last climb. Don't ask me what the name of the city or the village is or whatever because I don't know how to say that. But I'm getting ready to try to ride up that climb. I actually don't, I, I bothered to come all the way out here. I rented an Airbnb. I drove all the way out here and everything, got ready, got my bike back here, but I didn't even bother to look at the real rope, uh, excuse me, route profile. So I don't even know how long this ride is or how long the climb is. But uh, I'm getting ready to try it out, and I think it's pretty hard. And because I was there yesterday watching the actual race, the finish of the race, or almost the finish, and uh, it is extremely steep looking. So, my strategy today, or my goal rather, of the day is to just reach the top without stopping. And so, the strategy to do that will be just to take it easy and go slow, even on the uh, you know, kind of not flat but less steep parts. I won't push really hard like I normally would so I can save some energy and actually make it up up the uh, up the whole route without stopping so that's the goal and uh, anyway I don't know what else to say I'm gonna I, I don't even know where I am exactly right now I just found like some other cars parked over here and so I figured I could park here I'm about to take the bike out and get it set up and I think I need to just ride that way and somewhere take a right and that should be the mountain I don't know Anyway, I guess that's enough rambling. I'm going to get started now. See you later. Just to add to the drama, I had to deflate my tires before taking them off the bike. And I forgot my bike pump except for my spare one. So today I'm going to have to pump my tires up just with my small hand pump, which means I don't know what the pressure will even be.
Wow, and as if things couldn't get any worse today, I was just pumping the tire and like my valve stem just broke off. I'm just holding the air in with my finger, but there's really no use because there's no valve. So that sucks. I do have a spare tire, but only one. Spare inner tube, inner tube rather, so I guess I'm gonna put that on. It's the only choice I have. My god. Okay, tire's pumped. Everything's good. I'm getting ready to finally, finally, finally start this ride. Uh, however, I will be without an extra tube. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Okay, apparently this is the start. As you can see, there's a bunch of riding on the road and it's starting to go up. Okay, first update. I'm out here on the road. I've probably been riding for about 20 minutes. The very beginning had a pretty steep kick up, but after that first one, it really hasn't been that steep yet. I'm just taking it pretty easy. I actually forgot my heart rate monitor today. So uh, it's going good. It's actually really beautiful today. Perfect weather, not too hot. And amazingly, there's Almost no car traffic, just a few cars here and there, a few bikes, but uh, really a lovely ride so far. It's amazing compared to yesterday when right where I'm riding now, there were just thousands of people lined up and now it's totally empty other than these signs which say don't park there during the race. And uh, surprisingly, the organizers have cleaned up the uh, the road really well. I'm not seeing too much litter at all. Okay, here's where the buses were picking us up yesterday. This is where I was getting all mad about waiting so long. And uh, what that means is around this corner, I think is where it's gonna get a lot steeper. Pretty steep, but actually doesn't feel too bad yet. Over by those trees is where I was watching the finish just yesterday. Here we come to the gravel section. Hey guys. This gravel is nice and smooth. This is good. I don't know how good you can hear me because there's a lot of wind up here, but I made it. Actually, it wasn't all that hard. I guess maybe just taking it easy really made it seem, well, easy. Anyway, I made it up to the top. I'm just gonna get settled and uh, head back down. Hey, big puppy. Hey, big puppy. Hey. 